Russia China and Pakistan relationship now unprecedented Russian President Vladimir Putin said on Friday that the friendship between Russia and China has become an example of how two countries can develop together and help each other in nearly all sectors. Also, on Friday, Pakistan and China signed a new agreement to start the second phase of the 60 billion US dollars China-Pakistan Economic Corridor (CPEC), with Prime Minister Imran Khan praising the controversial projects saying they're strategic for both countries and will provide tangible benefits to the people. In his first face-to-face -face encounter with his Chinese colleague Xi Jinping since the start of the COVID-19 outbreak, Putin emphasized how Moscow and Beijing have remained in close contact and have continued to strengthen cooperation. In terms of our bilateral ties, they're indeed steadily developing in the spirit of friendship and strategic partnership, Putin stated before the start of the meeting. They have taken on a truly unprecedented aspect, and they serve as an example of worthwhile relationships that enable both sides to improve while also supporting each other's development. Following the meeting between the two leaders, Russia and China issued a joint statement that echoed Putin's tone. The document reads, friendship between the two states has no limits. There are no forbidden areas of cooperation. The strengthening of bilateral strategic cooperation is neither aimed against third countries nor affected by the changing international environment or circumstantial changes in third countries. In the statement, Xi and Putin agreed on a bilateral agenda for the future of the two countries' relations as well as how Beijing and Moscow would deal with other parties, including the United States. As part of the agreement, China sided with Russia in the continuing dispute over NATO's eastward expansion, with both sides agreeing that it should be halted. The sides oppose further enlargement of NATO and call on the North Atlantic Alliance to abandon its ideologized Cold War approaches, it reads, as well as urging the bloc to respect the sovereignty, security, and interests of other countries, the diversity of their civilizational, cultural, and historical backgrounds, and to exercise a fair and objective attitude towards the peaceful development of other states. Russia and China have worked closely in recent years to strengthen economic ties, and bilateral trade now surpasses $140 billion per year. On Friday, Russia's energy giant Gazprom and China's CNPC struck a long-term agreement for the sale of 10 billion cubic meters of Russian gas to Beijing. Thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel.